Good morning everyone, it's Dennis from Polar Native Fishing Channel. On today's video, what I'm going to show you how to do is program an Evinrude E-Tech injector. Uh, I just sent all mine away to be cleaned by Barnacle Bills and one of them came back. Um, it wasn't working, it had failed. One of the wires had broken off, so luckily I had a new injector lying around. So I, um, what I did yesterday is I installed all of my injectors, put them all back together, and put them all back in the correct area, in the correct cylinder. So now what I need to do is program this injector to the proper cylinder. In this case, it's the number six cylinder that we're gonna program. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so <clears throat> what you need to have to, in order to do this is you need, you need a laptop here with the Evinrude E-Tech software in order to hook to your uh, EEM on your engine. Then you can get, go ahead and program your injector to the proper cylinder. If you don't program these injectors, they're not gonna work. You're gonna end up causing a lot of issues. You also need the cable, which I have here. It's hooked up to the communication port on the engine. Let me see if I can show you that. Just right here. That is an adapter they send, with, send to you with the software. It hooks into, like I said, the communication port on your engine and goes to the USB port on your laptop. And that'll allow you to go ahead and you can look at everything on your engine. Engine di diagnostic, hours, fault codes. Um, you can do a lot. You can program your engine with it. You can program your oil settings. Do a whole bunch of stuff. You can do software updates and all that fun stuff. But uh, what I'm gonna do is show you how to do the injectors because I don't think there's really any videos on YouTube showing you how to do this. I don't think a lot of people do this at home, um, but if you're like me, you like to do things on your own, DIY it, learn something, and save some money. A lot of times you save money, but sometimes you end up spending more money if you don't fix the issue, because then you have to send your boat over to a professional and have them do it. But um, if you follow the service manuals, it's actually pretty easy, step by step. If you are somewhat mechanically inclined you can get this done and do them do this stuff yourself the hard part for me is uh the technology part the computer part i'm not very good at computers but i learn as i go so what you need to do you see this little qr code you need to scan that with a scanner app on your phone you scan this and it's going to give you a coefficient code once you get that coefficient code from your scanner app you're going to email it to your personal email or your actual email so what you can do after that once you have that coefficient code emailed to you you can pull it up on your computer and I'll get to all that once we open up the software and get the engine connected but anyway once that's emailed to you you can that allows you to copy and paste it into the correct fields on the actual diagnostic software, which I'm gonna show you. Um, the reason why you copy and paste it is because um, there is a scanner function on the diagnostic software. What you're doing is you're copying and pasting it in the correct field and it's acting as a scanner. Cause I don't have an actual scanner where I can actually, you know, scan that and it'll automatically put the coefficient code to where it goes. So you kind of have to do it differently, you kind of trick the software into thinking you have a scanner by copying and pasting that coefficient code into the correct fields, which I'm gonna show you. I've done this before, so it's hopefully I remember how to do it. You know, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, also, if you do send your injectors away to be cleaned, once you put this all back together, actually, first things first, it's important that you mark your injectors. You wanna know you don't want to mix your injectors up because then you're just going to have a huge issue and probably going to have to if you mix them up you're either going to you're probably going to have to just re reprogram everything but luckily you know you write everything down take pictures and you'll be good um what was i getting at here oh, okay once you have all your injectors back on after being cleaned you might notice some issues with your engine not wanting to turn over 
that's because you're going to get air trapped in your fuel system so you need to pump your bulb a lot and kind of turn your engine over a lot then eventually it'll start up once all that air gets out of your system you'll be good to go probably took me like 10 minutes to get my starboard engine started yesterday after i put all my injectors back on but it fires up good now i'm actually going to run injector test on it later i already ran my injector test on five of these injectors last night and all was good so what i'm going to do is let me get the scan in this and we'll go from there all right so we're on the phone so in order to scan this code i'm using an app called qr bot it's a paid app but it's like a three-day trial so you can just you know scan your code and then do what you will cancel the app after so there's your coefficient code there you go it's got it view details see that long code that's your coefficient code then what you're gonna do is hit share mail and there you go you can just straight up email that to yourself i've already done that so now move on to the next step all right i know you can't really see this well because it's tough to really film off a computer from a gopro but this is highlighted here this is my email and this is the coefficient code it's really long a lot of numbers so that's the coefficient code so i copied it right click it's copied Put that down <clears throat> so in order for this evanrude software to work you got to have your engine on my engine's not on right now so let's turn it on sorry boat's a mess i've been doing a lot of work on it so hopefully friday i can get out there and take her out let's turn her on Engine's on. Let me try. All right, we are connected. Continue. All right. We we're connected. So now we need to go into the settings there's got to be a better way for me to film this but I don't think this computer has the capability of filming what I'm doing on the screen go to fuel injectors replacing fuel injector number six so we selected fuel injector six and you go down here replace fuel injector bam but we need to, sorry, we need to go into settings. Or tools. Settings, fuel injector data hand scanner is available. So we need to go here. Okay. Now I think we're good. Place fuel injector. Scanner is present. Do you wish to use a scanner? Yes. <coughs> So here we go. <clears throat> so this is how we're going to trick the system. Right click, paste, bam, bam. Two scans, shabam. Processing second scan, please wait. All right, see, now we got both of these scanned in install scan data I can hear the EEM is on so something's happening there we go I think we are done so that's how you install an injector on an Evinrude E-Tech I'm not sure if there's really many videos on YouTube on how to do that, but hopefully this will help you. And the video's not too bad, but you get the point. It's not really that hard. Uh, I haven't done this in like a year or two, and 
luckily my brain works good enough to where I can remember how to do it. I didn't really have to go searching around and, um, you know, read the forums on how to do it. I kind of remembered how to do it, which is good. My brain's, my old brain's still working. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pump, uh, pump my primer bulb, get some gas going through this, and then I'll start the engine up, see how it goes. All right, so one last thing you want to do is just kind of make sure the serial number is going to match your injector just to be sure that everything worked. So my, on the software, it's showing that number six injector, serial number is ending in 827. So we're going to check. It's ending in 827. So we know we're good. Like I said, I'm going to prime everything and go ahead and start my engine up. Also, um, if you got your cowlings off, the bottom cowlings, you should probably go ahead. There's a exhaust backflow valve there, right here. A lot of people overlook that, I think, and uh, it's kind of an important thing. You need to take that valve out and clean it because it gets uh, built up with carbon. So I, uh, um, what they say is you want to probably clean it out every 100 hours, every 100 to 300 hours, probably depending on how much you use your boat. I use my boat quite a bit. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I like to pull that out and clean it out so it doesn't get clogged up or even replace it. I had had to straight up replace mine because they were so bad. So I did that. Um, another thing I did when they send you injectors, they send you a VST filter. Go ahead and replace that. That's real easy. I don't know if you can see. This is your fuel pump. Your VST is actually inside the fuel pump. So you need to take that hose off and take a pick and take a pick and you can pick it out and then you can put a new one in but there you go thank you thanks for watching if you like the video like it subscribe to the channel comment ask me any types of questions you want if i can answer them i'll answer them